What is up guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Some uh, pretty creepy uh, sounds there. That just reminds me a little bit of, um, you know, Max Payne, the, like, the nightmare sequence where you run through the, uh, the hallways a little bit. Anyway, let's crack on. I really want to head out of this um, study. Basement key. Let's put it to use over here. <laughs> yeah, I guess that doesn't work as well now, but uh, remember the old TVs? They do that, like the black screen with the video thing. Uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's also a sound effect that makes it like your TV just turn itself off. It, again, it has that old school sort of turn off with a TV. Do you know what I mean? But we don't, it's not, you know, a TV is different now. They just turn off sort of instantly. You kind of had that flash thing. Alright, it's down into the basement. Right over here on the wall, we've got a shotgun. Uh, yeah, let's take that. So there's some shotgun shells over here, and then some more, and then some um, revolver ammo over here. The hell's this big thing? A big safe? The safe is large and old-fashioned, made in the days when security was delivered from heavy metal construction rather than secure locking mechanisms. It doesn't look like it would be too difficult to break the combination. If only Alex had a stethoscope to hear the tumbler more clearly. Anyway, if we go over here... The fuse box and circuit breaker is situated upon the wall. All but one of the fuses are intact. The absence of this one is suspicious. And until it is replaced, the circuit connected to it is useless. Well, we got the lucky penny last time. Let's go ahead and use it. And there you go, that will replace the fuse. We now got power in that uh, upstairs bathroom, which was too dark uh, before to uh, see anything in it. So let's head up there and see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> I'm shrinking. I'm so tiny. This can't be happening. This one as well, so that's where you'll turn into um, one of the green zombies. He's actually kind of annoying because it'll let you, because you move really slow and it'll let you, like, sort of shuffle up the stairs to the top. <laughs> it takes ages and then it'll uh, go back to you there. It's, it's a little bit annoying that one, so I'd rather have the, uh, the shrinkage. Right, here we go. On here, we've got a journal from uh, Max. Let's have a quick read of that. This is a page from Maximilian Roivas journal. It reads, I sold to love, or yet, now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learnt to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. Go over here, look at this cabinet. An antique medicine cabinet hangs on the wall. Its wood is stained from years of use in the ambient community of the room. Let's crack it open. And boom, we got ourselves the next chapter page. Chapter 10 there. A Legacy of Darkness. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Zelotov. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. 
Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. It is only a place for me. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Alright, let's go ahead and get this chapter started. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. All right, so we're in the mansion, but we're now playing as uh, Edward Rovers. Alex's uh, granddad. Uh, what year was it? I, I, it went off really quick. Was it 59 or 56 or something? Something like that. Anyway, first thing uh, we do is look over here. No, I don't want to talk to the mayor. I don't want to examine this. There we go. This book on the uh, fireplace here. A journal of family history rests on the mantle as it's used recently. Let's grab that. Any of you check it out. An almost book bound in d uh, dry, dusty leather. The book covers the early history of the Roybus family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. We have found the minute hand of a clock. Alright. to do but we still need to find the uh, the hour hand we just found the minute hand anyway on here we've got a scroll yeah that's the uh, magic pool scroll which I actually showed off in the, uh, the last episode but there it is all right let's head up to the main area of the mansion and we're gonna head across here first Some ammo right there. So revolver ammo. And that's pretty much it in this room. Yeah, okay. So this uh, back room here. And on the wall, we'll find a saber. Let's grab that. I think I'll actually go ahead and uh, equip that. Head upstairs. Uh, let's go 
in here first. Some shotgun shells right there. And also some elephant gun ammunition. Uh, this is the elephant gun right here in this cabinet. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet. Itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the window to get inside, but where did he leave the key? So we can't get that just yet. Anyway, on here, we found one of those big bucks. There we go. Go ahead and check that one. But there we go, we got the hour hand. Just double checking. So if we go back to the uh, the clock, let's just head over to this other bedroom over here. Look on some revolver ammo. And some shotgun shells. Okay, let's head down to the uh, the grandfather clock. Max, so we're going to change it to 333. There we There, we've got some shotgun shells. Got a revolver there on the wall. Let's grab that. Some more elephant gun ammunition there. Some more shotgun shells. Some more revolver ammo. So much freaking ammo. Okay, let's grab the uh, tom. Spell there. All right. Oh boy, that little shit we just saw there is a vampire. They're very annoying. We're having to deal with that uh, dude in just a moment. Anyway, knock that vase over. And he says, half key tumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. So that's the bottom half of the basement key. We're going to have to find the top half. gone in here. Okay, I need to save that dude. Quickly. Come on. He's very annoying. He uh, goes invisible. I think you can use the reveal invisible spell on him. But, uh, screw it. Okay, he's off. He's recharging there, he'll be back. Right anyway, because we saved this guy, thankfully. 
Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around, and extra firepower will be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. There we go. I can now get the uh, elephant gun. Use that key on here. There we go. The elephant gun, this thing's pretty powerful. You can also change the mode as well for a single shot or double shot. Alright, it's actually so powerful, um, unless you're standing perfectly still when you aim, it knocks you on your horse. So you got to be careful with that one. Alright, we're going to stick with the saber though. I'm just going to wait in this room because uh, the vampire's going to be back. And I'm going to go ahead and um, champ my saber. Do a bit of extra damage to him. Alright, he will. Uh, he'll be here shortly. Basically, tries to attack the uh, butlers and uh, for saving them. Uh, you'll get, uh, they'll give you some ammo. Come on, you little bastard. Where is he? Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, here he is. Hey! Fuck. I to lock onto little shit. Again to recharge. Talk to this guy. Give some elephant gun ammunition. Recover as well. Yeah, Edward's kind of got a shit all really when it comes to health. Alright, we're gonna go uh, back downstairs. He's next going to strike. I'll uh, reach on the item as well, it's going to wear off soon. Come on, buddy. Show yourself. Taking his sweet time, isn't he? Here he is. He's gonna go straight for this guy, most likely. I know he's going for me. Fine. Play it your way. I mean, ideally, you want to lock onto his head, but. Okay, he's just run off down to the basement. In its desperation to escape from Edward, the vampire creature dropped the top half of the key onto the floor. Aha, there we go. And there we go, the half of the basement key. And again, it's going back to that little um, thing there to recharge.
Okay, we're not going to get ammo from him because uh, the uh, vampire didn't actually start attacking him, so uh, whatever. Okay, we're going to mix those together. It's still broken though. So we'll go ahead and enchant it to fix it. There we go. Let's get that guy down in the basement. And finish him off. Do is destroy this thing here. It takes three wax. It should take three wax. Is that four? Unless I didn't connect with one of them. Whoa! Aye, aye, aye. Okay. He's screwed now. He can't recharge. And he's done. Alright. On here, you've got the ooh, summon horror spell. Awesome. Alright, that's that. And we've got a shit ton of ammo around here as well. Got more elephant gun. We got up here a uh, double shotgun. Revolver ammo, shotgun ammo. More shotgun shells, more elephant gun, revolver, and more shotgun. Very generous with the ammo, very generous indeed. Alright, let's head down here. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's um, let's get the magic pool spell going on. Nice to a seven point purple rune. All right, that's definitely gonna help me with this uh, next bit coming up right now. Um, I'm gonna get out the elephant gun. I think I'm gonna enchant it as well. If I've got enough magic. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have two uh, horrors to deal with. The ones in here, which can be very annoying. The magic pool is definitely gonna help. <laughs> so you got knocked on the ass. Oh boy, see, getting knocked around here. It's really annoying because like, when you're trying to reload, they zap you and it's real pain in the ass. It takes a while to reload as well. Oh shit. Come on. Hold that bitch up. Ow. Got it loaded though. Yeah, when they uh, zap you there, it temporarily reverses your controls. Which is uh, pretty annoying. Why didn't that hit him? Got him down. Zapped while I'm trying to finish him off there, but okay, shouldn't be a problem now. Just having one to deal with. Still getting zapped. Thank God for the uh, magic pull. Definitely, definitely helps for this part. There you go. He went down pretty quick. And <laughs> on my arse again. <laughs> 
All right, that's those bastards dealt with. And, uh, okay, that's going to do it. Uh, for this part, next time we'll finish off this chapter. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.